Okay, we're back. Uh, here's a Moosehead beer I haven't done yet. Um, they're premium dry. Now, you may remember I've done their dry ice, which was their ice filtered beer, which uh, jacked the alcohol up to 6%, something like that, 6, six point something. Um, this one's 5.5%. Uh, this one is, of course, another uh, lager from Moosehead. And so far, I've actually quite enjoyed the Moosehead lagers. They've been better than your average macro kind of deals, right? So uh, this one says it's exceptionally smooth uh, finish with no aftertaste. So that's supposed to be the uh, big drawing point for this one. It's supposed to have no aftertaste. And because it's 5.5%, it'll get you drunk a bit faster. So I guess that's the idea. So uh, we're going to take her to the window here and uh, do the review and see how it goes. Okay, as you can see I report it. Um, not much of a head to speak of. It was about a finger and it quickly dissipated. Um, it's leaving a nice sort of a foamy cap on the top though and it's sort of like lin one of those sort of rings that lend to uh, okay lacing by the looks of it might have some nice lacing. Typical golden sort of color. Golden straw color. Typical lager color. So we'll go right to the aroma. Hmm. Not bad. Um, for, this is sort of an adjunct lager, I guess, but that being said, it's got a nice sort of inviting, sweet kind of smell. Faint little bit of hops, but not much. Maybe a bit more than what you'd expect. Yeah, it's not bad. Not bad. Nothing special, but it's not bad. So we'll get right to the taste. does not lie. It's very, um, very smooth finish. No real aftertaste that lingers on at all. It's got a bit more of a hop spite than, um, I dare say it has a bit more than, uh, regular moose head. Sort of, a uh, dry, really dry, kind of sort of corn taste. But it's not bad. It's not bad at all. It is um, staying in line with um, the other Moosehead beers. It's uh, better than your regular uh, macro beer. Yeah, not bad. It's not great or anything, but um, Smooth, highly drinkable. I like it. I like it. Not complex or anything, just crisp, refreshing, smooth. It's okay. It's okay. So, um, who said premium dry? I'd actually give this a 3 out of 5. Uh, it's a bit better than um, most of the cheap swill you can get uh, on the market. Uh, and it's got a bit more of a slight kick to it than regular lagers, although you don't taste the alcohol. It's, it's good. 